Hey guys, Ivan here, and we got a couple of very interesting topics to go over today. We're gonna start with Nick Walker. Now, you might think there is nothing special here, just another Nick Walker side chest. But no, I wanna put certain things into perspective. The, the thing that I wanna talk about is how much Nick Walker actually grew. Now, you guys all know that the reason why he lost that Arnold Classic, like, probably one of the main reasons was uh, the lack of fullness, especially in the legs. So, after that Arnold Classic, based on all the comments, all the all the captions on his posts, on based on everything that Nick said so far, it is very clear that he's going for crazy fullness, for crazy size, for freak factor at the Olympia. And he's trying to grow as much as possible, even though he's already pretty much maxed out, probably the biggest guy on that Olympia stage today, he's still trying to grow. The question is, is he succeeding? Well, in this physique update, in this side chest right here, you can see that he is in a very good condition, right? I mean, he's very lean. I mean, look at the hamstrings and the glutes, look at the quads. Uh, look at the polish on that outer sweep on his leg and just the overall conditioning of his entire physique like he is very very lean especially considering that he is 292 freaking pounds right now with this conditioning with his dryness he does not look like he's holding any water even so he looks very dry very hard and almost three freaking hundred pounds for somebody who is five foot seven, that's insane. Now let me show you something. Check out this photo and tell me the difference. Tell me the difference in conditioning here. Is there a big difference in conditioning? I wouldn't say so. It's pretty much similar conditioning. Check out the date. This is two and a half, two two and a half weeks out of Arnold Classic, guys. Two and a half weeks out of that show. So his conditioning is pretty much similar that it was at two weeks out of Arnold Classic. What was his weight at the time? He didn't specify in this post, but based on the other posts that were like a week before or a week after, I'm guessing he was around 260 something. 265 max, he definitely wasn't 270. And now he's 292. Compare these two shots right now. The left one is old one, of course, when he was two weeks out and around 260. And the right one is right now at 292 and about 18, 19 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. So, yeah, I would say this is a huge freaking progress right here. I would say that he made tremendous amount of progress. I mean, maybe he was a little bit flat for the Arnold. And you can see it here in this photo. And yeah, the conditioning is a little bit better, so, I mean, if he was 262 and now he's 292, that's 30 pounds. Let's say that he's a little bit sharper on the floor on the left and maybe he's dehydrated a little and flat. So, let's say he did not gain 30 pounds of muscle. Then how much muscle did he gain? 20 pounds? Come on, come on, no way he gained 20 pounds in a couple of months. That's impossible, no. 15 pounds? 10 pounds? Well, okay, let's say it's 10 pounds, even though he's 30 pounds heavier with pretty much the same conditioning, but let's say it's unrealistic. Maybe he's just holding a lot of water, a lot of bloat, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's obviously the same spot. You can see it's the same lighting, the same pose, everything is the same. The conditioning is almost the same. But again, it can be 30 pounds. I don't think it can be 20 pounds. But if it is 10 pounds, guys, for a guy on that level, who is that big already, to gain 10 pounds in a couple of months in a post-show rebound, I mean, that would be insane. That would be ridiculous. That would look crazy on stage. But personally, I believe he gained more. I know how impossible it sounds, but it looks to me like he gained at least 15 pounds of whatever like he looks 15 pounds bigger so yeah i'm really curious to see what he's gonna bring at the olympia and how much more progress he's gonna be able to make i'm sure he'll keep on growing because like again his conditioning is two three weeks out four weeks out max so he doesn't need to diet down for the next 18 19 weeks he can just keep on growing you know growing to the show and at the very end maybe cut down get completely shredded diced and dominate man i don't know what's gonna happen at this mr olympia it's gonna be very interesting uh, personally i have derek and samson in my top two 
Hard is there in the mix, but based on the way Nick is progressing, and I mean, I don't know, I don't know, it's gonna be very, very interesting, Mr. Olympia. What do you guys think? Do you think Nick Walker actually has a chance of winning based on freak factor? Because I gotta tell you one thing, he's going to be enormous at that Olympia. And if you guys are trying to grow, the best way to grow is to make sure that you are anabolic all the time, that you're not catabolic. And this is one of the best things to prevent catabolism. Uh, it is actually a vintage build, which is BCAAs, creatine and glutamine all in one with an amazing flavor. This is a new flavor, black cherry. I mean, it tastes amazing. Old School Labs is coming out with all different flavors of all the products. You can try whichever one you like and let me know on IG, on my Instagram, how you liked it. If you didn't like it, you can return it and get your money back. But I promise you're going to love this and it's going to be very beneficial for your growth. So guys, if you want to try it, there is the link down below. And if you use the code EVAN, I get something from it and you get a 15% discount. So that's the way how you can support me and this channel if you like this content that I'm making for you guys and you want to you wanna keep me making it. So guys, once again, if you want to support me, there is the way. Link is down below. Use the code EVAN. All right, next up, we got a physique update. That's right, the physique update of Jay Cutler. And based on the number of likes that he has on that post, I'm sure you all have seen that on his Instagram. But let's go over this video real quick and let's analyze what we got here. Now, Jay Cutler, I, I don't think he's preparing for the Masters Olympia. Uh, in fact, he did say that he's preparing for uh, his 50th birthday. He wants to be fit for 50. And uh, yeah, I gotta say he's way more than fit. He's pretty much jacked. And I mean, look at the conditioning. Look at the abs. Look at the chest. Uh, look at the size as well. Like he brought a lot of the size back. And once again, uh, he's uh, preparing for his 50th birthday, which is in i believe six weeks and he started this uh, i don't know transformation at 12 weeks out so he's halfway done so he did this in six weeks and he has another six weeks and i, I don't know what he's gonna do he talked about uh, this uh, transformation on his podcast with milos sharchev and milos was kind of advising him to do it a little bit more extreme like to uh, start using more uh, gear but uh, he he said he doesn't want to do it that way he said he wanted to uh, just you know do trt and maybe just maybe another thing something really mild he didn't want to do it with a lot of a lot of gear uh, so yeah i believe he's not on a lot of stuff here and maybe he decides to do more stuff if he wants to get you know really really jacked now once again he's 49 he's almost 50 so you know, Dexter Jackson competed very successfully when he was 49. And I know it doesn't make sense to compare anybody to Dexter, to freaking Vampire. But uh, yeah, I mean, Jake Cutler didn't really have too many injuries. Le yeah, he tore the bicep, you can see it. But like his joints are good, as he says. Uh, he can still train hard. And uh, yeah, I believe his health is in check. It's all good. So if he wanted to push things a little, I think he would be okay. I don't know what his priorities are right now, what his goals are. I mean, he already looks amazing right here. But if he wanted to take it up a notch, he could probably do the Masters Olympia and do pretty well. I mean, I don't know who else is doing that show, but yeah, Jay Cutler is looking amazing right now. And I am surprised. I didn't think he was going to take this this seriously. Okay, next we got a little physique update of Quint Beastwood or uh, Quinton Raya. Now, this guy is talked about as one of the potential uh, like future Mr. Olympias, uh, future next Ronnie Coleman, the next big thing. Uh, he's a taller guy. I believe he's over six foot and like he's really big, really heavy. Uh, he's like in the ballpark of uh, Andrew Jack as far as height, as far as frame, maybe Samson Dauda. Uh, so if that changes, if the new era of bodybuilders, you know, become taller, uh, more aesthetic, uh, more classic looking bodybuilders, like if Samson wins the Olympia and Andrew Jack places very highly and uh, then you have Quint as well, then maybe he's going to do well in the future. But if, if the criteria stays the way it was so far, like if the mass monsters keep winning, if uh, somebody as blocky as Nick Walker wins or Hardy stays the champ, or even Derek Lansford, who is super, super masculine right now, if he wins, 
I, I don't know if that's the criteria. I, I don't think Queen, Queen Beastwood is ready to do that well yet. Uh, I think soon he's going to start dieting down. Uh, he says here, soon the world will know. So, yeah, I'm exp I mean, he did, he did skip uh, this year. He didn't compete. So he took some time off, like he had a longer off season in order to grow. Did he grow? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, he, maybe yeah, but there are still gaps in this physique. Like, yeah, he has really good legs. When he's shredded, his legs are looking good. Uh, he has crazy outer sweeps, so genetically he has really good legs, but I would still like to see more leg thickness. I would like to see more adductors. Uh, in the upper body, like, I don't like the gap between his lats and his arms. Derek Lansford doesn't have that. And now, we're like, also, his limbs, like, his, not just legs, but his uh, arms as well. Like, he has big arms, but for that frame, he still needs to pack on more tissue. So, yeah, I mean, he, he should compete. He should show us what he's got. And, uh, like, last year when he competed, he was kind of close to winning a pro show, but not really. He wasn't really able to win a pro show and follow him with Mr. Olympia. But uh, can he do it now? Maybe. Maybe there is a possibility. But even if he wins a pro show and qualifies for the Olympia, I don't think he has a chance of placing at the Olympia. So I think it's going to take him a little bit more, a little bit longer, a little bit more time uh, before he actually cracks it, before he actually brings his uh, absolute best, his maximum potential. It's going to take a while, really. And the thing is, he's very young. I believe he's like 26, 27, 27 maybe, something like that. So he's very young and like there is a bright future ahead of him, but... If you ask me what can he do this year if he competes, I don't think he can do that well. He still needs to keep on growing. But in a, in a couple of years, if he keeps it at this pace, yeah, he's going to be one of the greats. I believe so. And we got a physique update of Urs Kalecinski. Uh, and it seems like this guy, I don't know, like he, it seems like he's not being careful with his uh, weight. Now, I believe he has quite a few pounds before he reaches the weight gap in in classic physique i mean not quite a few but maybe like six seven pounds and at this point as you can see he is pretty massive at like 18 weeks out of mr olympia and uh, i think he gained a lot of tissue a lot of muscle in his legs that were already his strongest point as far as the upper body yeah i think everything grew i think everything is bigger but I think his legs are a little bit too dominant right now. He he looks like Tom Platts, man. So yeah, I don't know what he's gonna do. Like can he? I think he's gonna he's gonna have trouble. I believe making the weight this year because he really grew a lot. I think he's like two over 270 right now, and he cannot compete. Uh, I think his weight cap is around 225 something like that. So that, that's a lot of weight to lose. And he's, he's actually very lean. Yeah, so I believe all that weight gain is like... It's some bloat, some water. But I think there is some, quite a bit of tissue in the leg department. I think his legs are really freaking massive. Really, really round. I don't know how this is going to play out in classic physique. I mean, he does have a beautiful shape, beautiful structure. But if his legs dominate that much, that's going to create an asymmetry which is a problem in classic physique. So that he should definitely be careful with his quads and his calves in particular. And he should definitely try to bring up his upper body. I mean, did he do that? I think he did, but his legs, he brought his legs along with everything else. So I think he's going to have the same imbalance like he did before. So I don't know if he did much aside from just growing everywhere, which I don't think he should have done. But yeah, let's wait and see. I mean, best case scenario, he can be second. Can he beat... Ramon Dino, uh, I don't know. I don't think he's doing the right things in order to beat Ramon Dino. I still have Ramon Dino ahead worse this year, but maybe in the next couple of years he can surpass him. I think Urs has more, more better structure, better classic structure, but yeah, I don't think he's doing the best. I don't think he's making the best moves in his off seasons. Beautiful structure, right? I mean, Ramon Dino is being coached by Chris Asito, and uh, Urs is coached by that uh, German coach, 
I can't really remember that guy's name. I think he's Stefan. Yeah, uh, he's a good coach, like good European coach. But I don't know if he's advising him uh, as far as like creating the best balance, the best symmetry, because he definitely has overpowering legs. And uh, I don't think he's gonna fix that imbalance in this off season. Uh, so far, he was staying super lean in the off season, so he wasn't really making a lot of progress. This time around, he blew up. He definitely grew. Uh, we'll see how much of that of that whatever weight is left when he diets down. And uh, I'm really curious to see how much of that weight is actually in the upper body. If he improved his upper body, because if he did with his structure, he has a legitimate chance of placing second at the Olympia. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want to support this channel, go to the link in the in description of this video and buy some of the old school app supplements. If you want a discount, you can use the code EVAN. You're going to get a 15% discount and I'll get something from it. So if you guys want to support this channel, you can do that by buying any of the old school app supplements and using the code EVAN, which will grant you 15% discount once again. Thank you guys once again so much. Like this video, subscribe, all the best guys and bye-bye.